Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Russ with rwgresearch.com. So today is a little different of a video. Uh, some of you are wondering what happened to this. This is the filament extruder polar PID loop caliper thingamabob. Now, the interesting thing about this is that I actually did get it working and my electrical cords just fell off, so it just powered off. Ah, geez, wait a minute. All right, so I did actually get this working at one time. Uh, the thing about it is, is everything functions except for the fact that I don't know what I'm doing on programming. So there was another gentleman that I contacted uh, and was willing to help me out. And he's, a, I think he was from Germany or something. And we didn't, we didn't follow through with it, which was my fault probably. But along the way, a gentleman by the name of Bob, and uh, here he is right here. Welcome, Bob, to the scene. Hello, Russ. So, Bob, uh, you, your YouTube user channel is making stuff, is this correct? That is correct. All right, so Bob is here. He is willing to put some effort and time into fixing my hodgepodge mess that I've created right here. So, I'm actually going to send him this or the components or pieces. He's already got a lot of it uh, already available where he's at because he makes stuff. And, um, yeah, Bob, so you're going to help me out, is this right? That's correct, Russ. I am very excited for you to help me out because well, it's been like eight months that this I, I, I can't program and apparently you know what you're doing with programming so maybe you can just give a very short blip of what you're gonna do to help fix my stuff and then tell us a little bit more about yourself. Well uh, to help you out I'm gonna take your uh, your project that you've got so far and I'm going to take the software and we'll do some optimizing and some tweaking to it so that we get uh, some better results than what you're getting now and hopefully speed up the process and make it uh, easier for anybody else who wants to make a filament extruder to do the same thing. Yeah, so the goal for me for this project was to build something that is usable for everybody. So I wanted to make a simple controller, a simple circuit. Somebody could just grab an open source project here, slap it together, download the software, and away you go. Um, I was very excited that I actually made this thing function. It didn't quite function 100% correctly, but it did work with the PID loop according to where the calipers were set up. So I was really excited about that, but optimizing the code is where I fell short. Um, this is one of the first major Arduino projects that I've constructed. And um, unfortunately, I'm a n <laughs> so I, I just couldn't figure it out. So Bob's going to have to do that for me. So if you guys would like to know a little bit more, Bob contacted me via email and said he wanted to build an extruder. And then I stuck my foot in the door and shoved this over to him and was like, what do you think? Can you help me? And he just happened to be doing programming. And he said, sure. Now, the goal for him is to actually build one of these entire extruders plus finish this mess by September 17th because he'd like to go to a Maker Faire. So this is in Nashville, is that right, Bob? Yes, that's correct. So you want to build one of these. Tell us a little bit more about the Maker Faire. You're going to be there, so if people want to well, it, see you, that'd be cool. It's in Nashville. It's at the Adventure Science Center. And as you said, it'll be September 17th. And my goal would be to have one of these extruders set up there at the Maker Faire running, making filament, and giving it away to all the people that come up to the booth. That would be pretty cool because, I mean, a lot of people are making 3D, like, 3D printed stuff, but, right. you know, it, it, the f it's unusual to go to a Maker Faire now and not see, you know, tons of 3D printers. And for most people that go to a Maker Faire that have been one, it, it's not new anymore. You know, five years ago it was something new, but now, you know, pretty much everybody's seen one, so I just wanted to maybe take it up to the next level and create an extruder because probably nobody's really seen how filament's made. You just go to the store or you mail order it and the, the UPS man delivers it and it's on a spool. You put it in your printer <laughs> and you use it. Yeah, so. exactly. Exactly. And and I think you can achieve that goal. Uh, I don't know if you can get this done. Obviously, with your skills, I think you can. But, um, but any, any help you need, I'm willing to help you, Bob. So, well, that's uh, great. 
where can people find your information? Your YouTube is Making Stuff? Is that the title of it? The, the name of the channel is Making Stuff, and I also have a web page. It's called makingstuff.info. Fantastic. And I actually don't know how I got subscribed to your channel, whether you found me first or vice versa, but one of the projects you built was a self-balancing scooter completely that, from scratch. That's correct. So these are the type of projects you're going to see on his channel. So I highly recommend you go check out his channel. Uh, not too many people have built a self-balancing scooter. What are some of the other little projects you've done over the years? Well, um, last year for Maker Fair, my project was to scratch build a claw machine completely out of parts that I had here in the shop. And I used 3D printed parts, stepper motors, and things that people uh, donated for the claw machine and made it out of wood mostly and uh, took that and there was a line at that claw machine from the time the Maker Faire started <laughs> until five minutes after close. I literally had to <laughs> unplug it and tell everybody I'm going home. You know, thanks for playing the claw machine. That's um, pretty. That's pretty cool. Just uh, you know, it it's almost random. I'm into a lot of things. There's woodworking. There's some metalworking. Um, I like to make pins, but if you go on YouTube, there's thousands of pin videos so I don't have too many of those on there but there's a few some unique ones um, just a little bit of everything just the stuff that I'm into I just wanted to make videos just to share what I'm doing with other people and maybe meet up with other people that like to do the same thing that I do very nice yeah I mean like I've actually never been to a Maker Faire so I need to find some around where I live at which is LA and just check it out because it's it's pretty fun to do those type of events so if you guys are around in Nashville and you want to do that that's September 17th I'll put some more links in the description I will put Bob's channel in the description make sure you check it out uh, the thing about it is is I don't know how much I'm gonna post on the process of this actual project so if you want to see this particular extruder project being completed and progressing uh, you should watch both of our channels. There'll be little snippets of both, but primarily right now I'm going to just put this stuff in a box and ship it on over. Um, I, I am pretty proud of myself for getting this far because, like I said, I can program PLCs any day, any hour, no problem, but when it gets down to stuff like this, it's just not my expertise. Uh, Bob had mentioned somewhere in an email that, uh, you know, I'm a very smart person and so forth and so on, and I said, Bob, you did what I did in, th in three days. It took me three months. So it's all about perspective on your on your smartness. We've, we've all got our little our little niche so uh, we're all very smart in our own ways. But anyway Bob thank you and I really think people will go check you out so anything you want to say before we head out? No um, you know just check out my channel if you don't mind um, come by the booth on the Maker Faire uh, September 17th come by and say hi uh, last year I had a lot of people come by and say hi and that it's interesting because uh, there were a lot of people bringing their projects to the Maker Fair and they were bringing them up to my booth to show them off and and I just like seeing all the stuff that uh, other people are making yeah definitely so ultimately again open source project Bob's very similar in this way and uh, yeah check it out so that's all I got I guess I'll see you somewhere, Bob, down the road. Alrighty. All right, peace out. Peace and love. Have a good day. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.